All right, welcome back to the Ashes comparison video, everybody. We're going to be taking a look at Leo Sunshadow and Victoria Glassfire today, and uh, we're taking a look at the old cards and the new cards from Ashes, Rise of the Phoenix Born to Ashes Reborn. Um, so, let's get started. For those of you who are just joining me, the sleeved card is the new ability, and the unsleeved card is the old one that's been retired. So. Let's take a look. He didn't have much change in his deck. It was only six cards compared to um, some of the other ones. That's fairly tame. I think I think Rin Northfell is the one who really had the least amount changed to him. But anyway, I'm getting uh, ahead of myself. So the first thing is Amplify. Uh, this is no long. Uh, this used to be an alteration spell. It's no longer an alteration spell. Uh, this was a main action co costing a a heart on the pink dice, and had the ability X equals the number of charm dice on this unit with a respark ability of one, and you have a lot of X stats down there. Once again, I said this last time, a respark is gone in Ashes 1.5 here. On the new card, it's a side action, same cost, uh, and it's an action spell. Choose a target unit you control with an attacker attack value of zero at three to its attack value for the remainder of the turn. So that's the first change. All right. The next change is called Remorse. And I've got the old one here. I'd like to start with talking about the old one. They still both reaction spells. Um, and this one had two dice cost. This one only has a one dice cost, but this one costs your highest level. So the old one is, you may play this spell after an opponent takes an attack, attack a Phoenix Born main action, or attack a unit main action. Deal two damage to a target Phoenix Born. The player that conducts controls that Phoenix Born must discard two cards of the top of their off the top of their draw pile. If they cannot deal one additional damage to their Phoenix Born, yeah, when the type gets real small like this, uh, it's getting difficult. Sorry, people. So um, I'll get my eyes checked. I promise. Now it is. You may play this spell after an opponent declares attackers. The target player must discard two cards off the top of their draw pile. Then if their draw pile is empty, deal two damage to their target Phoenix Born. Slight tweaks, but it does make it a bit more nasty. And then one of his allies, the Beast Tamer, has been changed. The Beast Tamer has a far uh, less cost to put into play. The old one used to be main action. Uh, and all three sides of the dice were necessary as far as pink goes or your other uh, color, depending on what you wanted to use. And the ability was diminish one. After an opponent has declared attackers, you may spend one basic magic to reduce the attack value of each attacking unit by one for the remainder of this turn. And then the stats uh, are a little different. The old one had an attack of three and a recover two. This one only has an attack of one, recover one, but the life is the same. But the new one has cost of uh, two hearts. And tame one, when this unit is in battle, the attack value of units in battle with it is reduced by one. And then it also has alert. Do not place exhaustion tokens on this unit as a result of its countering. So, pretty neat. That was the only change to his deck. Now let's go to his conjurations. The first one that had a change was the Nightshade Swallow. So first and foremost, the old deck had five of these and the new one only has two. The old one um, had a recover value of one, this one does not, and the ability is different. This had Death Strike. When this unit deals one or more damage to a unit that is attacking or countering, destroy the unit that received the damage. Now it's Pacify one. When this unit is destroyed, you may place one exhaustion token on a target unit. That could get a little nasty in the old edition. So, a nice change. Oop, get those piles out of the way. Orchid Dove was another one that may had a change. Um, the stats are different. This has an attack of one, uh, and this has an attack of zero. So. The Orchid Dove's ability is um, Peaceful Melody. Your opponents cannot take an attack a Phoenix Born main action or attack a unit main action. During their turn, 
An opponent may spend one basic magic. If they do, all units are no longer considered to have the Peaceful Melody ability for the remainder of that turn. So the new one is Last Request. When this unit is destroyed, you may choose a target player to discard one card off the top of their draw pile. So they're putting a bit of, of um, interesting spins on Conjurations here. The last one to make a change, and I'm so happy it did, was the Glow Finch. Now, for someone like me, who doesn't really play Magic all that often, um, the amount of text that was used to uh, talk about some of these cards was rough. So the Glow Finch on the old ability, unit guard, this unit may guard a unit that is being attacked. Um, the stats have changed, life 2, the new one is life 1 with a recover of 0 on the new one and a recover of 1 on the old. So here are all the abilities. Decoy. When a unit you control would become the target of a spell, ability, or dice power and this unit could have been chosen as that target, you may place one exhaustion token on this unit to change the chosen target to be this unit instead. And also had last request. When this unit is destroyed, discard one card off the top of a target player's draw pile with magic rejuvenation as a side action. Remove an alteration spell attached to this unit from the game. If you do, remove all exhaustion tokens from this unit. The new one is just unit guard. As stated before, that has not changed. And then last request two. When this unit is destroyed, you may choose a target player to discard two cards off the top of their draw pile. So those are the changes made to Leo Sunshadow. Have any questions? Let me know in the comments below, but we're going to head over to Victoria Glassfire now. Welcome back, everybody. We're taking a look now at Victoria Glassfire. You'll notice that um, on the last video, I had Leo Sunshadow's card always above. That's to make sure you know who I'm still talking about. Um, I don't want any confusion. If you look away from your screen just for a brief moment uh, and then look back, it might be different. And I just want everyone to know that we are on Victoria Glassfire now. And um, let's take a look. There was a change to her as a Phoenix born. Uh, once again, the old and then the new. So her hit points remain the same and her battlefield remain the same, but her spellboard gained one. So her old ability, Shadow Spring, was a side action, exhaustion, and a wolf. Select two dice in your exhausted pool and place them into your active pool on a side of your choice. Now she has Surprise, which is a side action, cost and exhaustion, and a, a face. Uh, Reroll up to four dice in a target opponent's active pool. Reroll an equal number of dice in your active pool. So fairly interesting. Um, Victoria was always a nuisance in the game. I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's always good to have those kinds of, of uh, characters. Oh, excuse me, characters out there. Now we're taking a look at the Shadow Hound. We're going to do our conjurations first. First off, um, as I've noticed in many of the other Phoenix born in the game, uh, the new edition only has two of these for Victoria, and the original had three. So the original was Illusion. If this unit receives damage as a result of a unit's attack or counter, destroy this unit. And it had attack 3, life 5, recover 0. The new one has attack 3 and life 1, which is concealed. This unit cannot be targeted by attacks, spells, abilities, or dice powers and opponent controls. And it also has stalk. This unit cannot be guarded against. So I would call that a fairly big change. It makes her, once again, even more of a nuisance, so I'm looking forward to trying their out. If I haven't said it already, Jen and I are planning on doing like a full-fledged all Phoenix Born before we have the new stuff uh, coming out, kind of a last one standing, and we're doing it in an interesting format, so join us for that. Next change was the Shadow Spirit. The original had four available to Victoria, the new one has three. The original also had Illusion. Uh, which is if this unit receives damage as a result of a unit's attack or counters destroy this unit. But also as X, the number of summon shadow spirit spells on your spell board is how much life it has. So now the new one, it just has trickery. When this unit is declared as an attacker, lower one die in a target opponent's active pool, one level. 
uh, and that only has one life. Now we're going to go to her spells. First one we're going to talk about is Figures in the Fog. Okay, so the old one had a cost of a two faces and a basic magic. And, and they're, they're both still reaction spells. So the new one has a cost of a wolf. So uh, you, uh, the old one had the ability, you may play this spell when an opponent chooses to counter with a unit they control. Prevent all damage of the attacking unit or units would receive from the countering unit in this battle. The new one is, you may play this spell after an opponent declares attackers. Choose a target attacking unit and place one exhaustion token on it. It is no longer attacking. So, a nice little change there. And we have Body Inversion is our next one. Body Inversion went from a main action to a side action with no cost. Um, it also went from an alteration spell to a ready spell. And the old, um, the old ability was, this spell cannot be attached to a unit that already has a spell with the word Inversion in its title attached to it. When attacking, just checking up my face, I'm reading close to the card, I just want my face in the, the frame. When attaching this spell to a unit that has the illusion ability, the player that played this spell may select two illusion dice in their exhausted pool and place them into their active pool on a side of their choice and also had switch this unit's printed attack and life values. The new one is a side action, exhaustion token, and a face. Swap a target unit's printed attack value with its printed life value for the remainder of the turn. So instead of having all the text about attaching, it's basically this bottom ability. But now this is just a ready spell instead of an alteration spell. Next was Vanish. And the old one is right here. Uh, so the old one had a cost of two faces. Um, that's the mid-range magic on the purple dice. And the new one has a cost of the wolf, which is the high um, high magic on the, those purple dice there. The old ability. You may play this spell when an opponent would use a spell, ability, or dice power that targets you, your draw pile, your discard pile, or your phoenix born. Cancel the effects of that spell, ability, or dice power. In the new ability, you may play this spell after an opponent targets you or your Phoenix Born with a spell, ability, or dice power. Cancel that effect and the remaining effects of that spell, ability, or dice power. So it looks like it's the same ability. They may have reworded it a bit to avoid some confusion, and the cost was changed. Next is Particle Shield. Both still remained reaction spells, but the cost went up on the new one. So instead of just a basic magic, it's mid-range magic on a purple dice. The old ability, you may play this spell when a unit you control would receive one or more damage. This spell may be played even if you have already played reaction spells this turn. Prevent one damage to that unit, shuffle this card into your draw pile. The new ability... You may play this spell after a unit you control is dealt damage. Prevent one damage from being received. Draw a card. So a bit of an easier easier card to understand. Oh no, I messed it up. Keep that out there. The way I have the camera set up. We're recording on an iPad now, by the way. And just the way it's set up, I don't get a chance to look at it every every second while I'm filming. So the new thing is Secret Door. Uh, the old one had the cost of a face and a basic magic, and the new one just is a main action. But um, the ability is on the old one, after a, re after a reaction spell is played and its effects have been resolved, you may place one exhaustion token on this spell to draw one card or discard this card to take the reaction spell just played from its owner's discard pile and place it in its owner's hand. And then the new ability is a side action with the exhaustion and um, a face. Choose a target unit you control with a life value of one. It cannot be blocked for the remainder of the turn. So a little easier. Not too bad. Next one we have is two shadows. Um, 
the old card was a main action. The new card is a side action with the either or ability, mainly because the turtle is not out yet. That'll be the red dice in the new deluxe expansion. But the old ability was side action with an exhaustion token and a face, um, since the old one was a ready spell and the new one is an action spell. Choose a target unit to gain the following ability for the remainder of this turn. Illusion, if this unit receives damage as a result of unit's attack or counters, receive a uh, counter, destroy that unit. So now it's just discard a target exhausted unit. The last one we have, and I'm doing it this way because there's been a title change, used to be called Illusionary Cycle, now is called Copycat. Um, this one has a cost of a main action, because it used to be an action spell. Now it's a reaction spell, and just has a cost of a basic magic. The old ability was select one illusion die in your exhaustion pool, and place it into your active pool on a side of your choice. Shovel this card into your draw pile. The new ability, you may play this spell after an opponent resolves an action spell or activated Phoenixborn ability. Resolve a copy of that spell or ability without paying its play cost or activation cost. So that's pretty neat. And that is Victoria Glassfire and all her changes. And if you're enjoying these videos and you want to see the rest of them done, I mean, I plan to do them anyway, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and if you have any questions, also please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.